Hey guys, Sam Watson from Tech Fusions here, and today we've got a review on the CPU cooler. It's the Cooler Master Hyper 412 Slim CPU cooler. So keep watching to find out more. So this is a CPU cooler for the Intel and AMD motherboard. It's designed to be super low noise, has a continuous direct contact with the CPU and has a redesigned fin layout compared to the previous models. If you look on the back of the box you can see a picture of the fan and other dimensions to check the fan will actually fit inside your case. On the side it shows all the CPU sockets which the CPU cooler is compatible with along with the dimensions again, fan speed airflow and other details. The factor which impressed me the most was the fan speed silent adapter which can be lowered to the fan speed of 900 rpm which is 16.1 decibels that's really quiet so we're going to see if that achieves it. Here's the fan itself which is a 120 millimeter fan it just comes in this black and silver color scheme which gives it a nice clean look in comparison to the colour scheme of the Notch with fans. If we have a closer look at the cooler, it has a Cooler Master branding on top with four direct contact heat pipes to keep it nice and cool, let's say. It also has this nice wider fin gap designed to maximise the cooling performance at low fan speeds. The fan attached with these two brackets you can screw onto the fan, which is also changeable to any other fan you wish, and it comes with two set of brackets, which is very good. Included in the box is the user manual, the other user manual, for some reason I have two Intel LG 2011 screws brackets to install the other fan thermal paste other screws in the bag screwdriver backplate panel and silent mode adapter along with the CPU bracket and the warranty so this is just the CPU cooler this is the stock one and this is running idle so no games no applications open but it's still pretty loud and when it does run a game or render it's double this it's crazy loud so I'm gonna put it near the fan and you can hear how loud it actually is Let's put a bit closer. it's not the quietest of fans and as I said when it's on the load it's really loud so let's change it to the next fan and see how that does here is the stock CPU cooler under no load at all, so the stock cooler is the one that comes with the CPU. With fan speeds of near 3000 RPM at idle but still keeping the CPU cool, it's not so bad but it's just very loud so we could have turned down the settings but then the heat goes up and it gets a bit hotter and so on and so on. What we do now we'll quickly hop over to some gameplay footage of Call of Duty Black Ops 1 zombies with the stock CPU call on. Thanks for awkwardly sneaky for doing what he does best playing the zombies. I had this video of the noise CPU cooler put to the side of the video with the external mic but the external mic wasn't turned on so I couldn't record the noise the CPU fan was making it is really loud at that point it was wanted to scream it makes this weird mechanical noise it sounds like a drill or something it's a bit weird but I, unfortunately I didn't turn on my microphone at that point but trust me when I say it, it was pretty loud and if you've got a stock CPU cooler you will know what I mean you play a game it gets really loud render a video gets really loud so that's what it was like at this point so have a look at the fan speed again after the game of zombies it's near 5000 rpm this is why we need a nice quiet after cooler so hopefully this cooler master cooler will do us the job again unfortunately i lost the footage of the 412 fan speeds after the gameplay footage sad times i know but i did get a video of the zombies and turned my mic on this time to record the actual CPU fan going on while this gameplay was going on this awesome ownage if you see this turn back or cut back or whatever they like to call it damn it's crazy awkwardly sneaky's on another level but if you have a look it performs nice and good so I'm just gonna let the video play okay so we're on round 19 of zombies we've got the new Cooler Masters Hyper 412S CPU cooler installed into the gaming PC and Oh my god, it's so quiet compared to the last CPU cooler, the stock one. So I'm going to put it close and see if you can hear anything at all. Bear in mind this is round 19 and the CPU is under a little bit of load because there's a load of zombies got render a lot of stuff, but it's no stress on the CPU. It's cooler than cool itself. If that's a thing actually but let's go to the other footage 
as you can hear, it's so quiet. I'm just going to put next to it again so you can just have a little listen again. You can't hear anything really, can you? So let's go straight to the other footage. So there is the performance of the fan. It's too quiet, I tell you. You don't even know if your computer's on. I'm really impressed with it. I would say it's on par with my Noctual one, and I paid quite a lot more for the Noctual fan. So I would recommend this to anyone out there, to be honest. Just a word of warning, don't install inside the case. I say it again, don't install inside the case. You're going to have a lot of problems. You're going to be trying to put your hand at weird angles. You need really small hands to put in. So unless you're a child or something, uh, no, child, don't, don't install it into the case it, you won't have a good time but anyway yeah take the motherboard outside the case install it then you're going to have a, a really good time if you do that watch the video on how to install it as well if you're new to installing cpu coolers that's always good and set the fan speed lower on your bios if you know that if you want to make it even quieter you don't have to do that we did it and got 600 rpm as you can see on idle it's it's really good. As I said, I would recommend this CPU cooler for anyone. The price is simply great as well. So there's an Amazon link down below. You can go down there and click it and see if the price for yourself. It is a very good price and it's just dropping. It always drops in price, this CPU cooler. And all other CPU coolers, when they get a bit older, they drop down in price. But it's compatible for most CPU sockets. So I'd recommend this to anyone, to be honest. Also, another big thank you to Awkwardly Sneaky for the awesome zombie gameplay footage and let me do a review on this brand new CPU caller, which I'm very jealous of, to be honest. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, whack that thumbs up down below and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Also, if you want to see more footage of PC parts, gaming PCs, more stuff like that on the channel because I love doing items like this. It does take quite a lot longer to do compared to, let's say, a phone unboxing or a tablet unboxing. But I really enjoy doing these on the channel. I would love to get my hands on some more PC. So if you want to see some more Cooler Master products or some more PC peripherals and parts, please comment down below and let me know. This is Sam Orton. I'll see you in the next Tech Fusions video.